Hi, I'm Olivia and I am the Digital Learning Coach at Elementary Technology. Today I'm in the Experience Centre, standing in front of a shiny brand new board. This is the Promethean Active Panel 10 Premium and it, this version is the 65 inch, but it also comes in 55, 75 and 86 inches. The standard version also comes in all of those sizes apart from the 55 inch. So if we start by looking at the screen itself, it is a 4K QLED screen, which sounds very wordy, but basically just means that the screen is very bright, it has a very good visual, but it saves electricity at the same time. So obviously saving money, and that means it's also a lot better for the environment, which is on everyone's agenda at the moment. It also has toughened glass, which means it's really suitable for any classroom, any environment, any educational setting. Moving on, the first part we're going to look at on the actual hardware of the screen is the connections. So this board is great because of the multiple options of connections it has. So it has USB-C, USB-A, HDMI and touch. If we're looking at the USB-C ports, two of them also come with power. So the one at the front is 65 watts and the one around the side is 100 watts, meaning you can connect your device and get power, audio, visuals and touch. You may have also noticed the Active Panel 10 Premium also has a soundbar. This has two 25 watt speakers and one 20 watt subwoofer, which sounds very technical, but basically means the sound is fantastic. Whether you are in a very large classroom, a smaller classroom, you have children at the back, children at the front, the listening experience will be the same for everyone. Here in the Experience Center, which we're in a space that's much larger than your usual classroom, We've tried this out and the sound is fantastic. It can be heard from every corner. But if we're thinking back to the classroom and you have the child at the back who maybe has become disengaged because they can't hear the audio, that will be a thing of the past with this board. Sticking with sound, it also has a built-in eight mic array, which means it could be used for things like Teams calls or if you have a child working from home who needs to catch up, you could use the screen record function, which means you can show, capture what's on your board, but also what you are saying, so that child will not miss out on your teaching. Additionally, the Active Panel 10 Premium has the optional extra of the EPTZ camera, which is connected here through the port. That means you could use the camera for those Teams calls, or if you wanted to do a whole class video, for example. The Active Panel 10 Premium comes with two pens. One is the passive standard pen, which you would just use to write on the board as usual. The other is the Active Pen 2, which is stored and charged in a dock on the side here. This is a really powerful tool on its own. At the top of the pen, there are three modes and ways it can be used. The first is the digital pointer, which you'll be able to see on the board. Here's as a red dot, it's not a laser, but it can be used to draw the pupil's attention to pictures or reading text together. It's a really nice, useful tool. The second is the air mouse. This can be used to navigate around your slides, to move or open and close applications. This gives you the freedom to move away from the desk at the front, be anywhere in the classroom and still have the control on your PowerPoint or whatever you're showing on the board. The final, is the pen, which is just used to write on the board. So I can open my pen and write the date at the top. The final button to show you on this pen is the flame button, which is used to open up your active suite, which we'll come back to shortly. You'll probably have noticed the flame button is also on the front of the control here. It's also on the remote. On the controls buttons, alongside the flame button, we also have the power button, the volume down, volume up, freeze, no touch, which just means you can't interact with the board when that is pressed, and finally, input, 
The input button is how you select the device you want to use. The Active Panel 10 is OS agnostic, which means you can use any device using the connection panel that we spoke about earlier. Promethean also offer three built-in OPS units, which are Android, Windows, and Chrome OS, and they are built in and slot in at the side here. Going back to the input button, there is also the picture in picture feature, which is where you can display two windows alongside each other. If I select the button again and go back to select the layout, I can choose how I want these windows to be alongside each other. Now we are going to go and look at the active suite on my device. So I'm going to select inputs again, choose my device as the main display. The Active Panel 10 Premium comes with two Active Suite licenses, which means you can have one on your board built in to the OPS and also one on your device so it can go anywhere with you, which is what we're going to look at now. So when I press the flame button, my Active Suite pops up along the bottom and we're going to look at each of these apps. The first one is the whiteboard. This is just like any usual digital whiteboard. I'm gonna select blank canvas. And along the side here, you can see your tools. So you've got the pen, the eraser, the bucket to fill the color of the page, shapes, text, selecting tool, lots of different options of ways of interacting and using the whiteboard. The next tool is the annotate. This is used to be able to write over anything on the screen. So not just the whiteboard, any website, any application. Again, you've got the different pens, different colors, the erasers, and there's also one of my favorite features, the eye feature makes the annotate disappear. So for example, if I was to write on the board and then press that eye, not only does the toolbar disappear, but the annotations that I just drew, drew on the board. And also we have the screen capture and undo and redo. The next tool or application is the timer. You can have up to four timers on the board at the same time and you can change what the timers are. So I could have a stopwatch, I could have a clock, I could have a countdown. There are lots and lots of options. The next application is the spinner. And you can see here, I have inputted my class list. So I'm gonna make it big. You can customize it. It could have celebrations, it could have noise. So we'll press play. And you can see that's all ready to go. Lucas is the winner. You can also change them to have things like shapes, continents, and so on. And then finally, we have the screen share, which is how you can have pupils' devices casting live to the screen. And you can see here we have the waiting room. So you can have up to 42 pupils in the waiting room waiting to share their device. Screen share can be accessed through the Promethean app or the website. All you need to do is type in the code that appears at the top of the board, your name, and press continue. Screen share is a fantastic feature and way of sharing pupils' work live on the screen. Pupils can give feedback to each other, you can give feedback, you can even collaborate on a piece of work together in the classroom all at once. So here you can see we have the waiting room. When the pupils' device has been connected, their name will appear, like mine has now. You have the control to choose whose work you want to display when. So I'm going to select me, press share, and then my screen appears on the board. We're now going to look at how you can use some of the tools within Active Suite. So I've got my piece of work displayed on the board. I'm going to select my pen, press the flame, click annotate. Now I can ink directly over the screen and tick, cross, give that instant feedback to the pupil. Those annotations do not appear on the pupil's device, but they can be shared and exported if you need to do so. So 
That is a brief look at some of the tools and features of the Active Panel 10 and Active Suite. If you would like to know more, you could come up to the Experience Centre where you can use the board and get hands-on and use some of the things that I've showed you. Or alternatively, we can do a remote demo. We look forward to hearing from you and sharing some more things about the Active Panel 10 Premium.